Hello, my name is Ron Beck, representing Engineering Product Marketing at Aspen Technology, and I'm here today with Klaus Reimers, who's the Product Director for Solids Modeling and Chemical Modeling in uh, Aspen Plus family of products. So we're here today to talk to you about solids modeling for chemical and biofuels processes. Klaus, um, I was visiting recently one of our large chemical customers, and they have a large Aspen Plus model of their chemical site. Um, mostly they've modeled uh, the gas and liquid phases of their processes, and they were mentioning to me that they've been having increasingly challenges with the solids modeling aspects of their processes as they move more to specialty chemicals. They've been encountering uh, yield degradation, bottlenecks, and excessive energy use. Uh, I understand we've introduced some really good conceptual modeling tools for, um, for Aspen Plus for solids. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. So what we have with, uh, for, for Aspen Plus with regard to solids, we have the uh, new conceptual models that allow everybody to, to model solids with ease. So it's pretty easy to, to uh, include the models into your flow sheet. And once you have done that, you can describe, for example, a decanter centrifuge only by three parameters. So you don't need in-depth knowledge about the apparatus, about particle technology. So terrific. So from a business owner's point of view, let's say the business line manager within the chemical company, what's the benefit of having the engineers do work together to create this uh, single unified model of fluids and solids? So let's assume we have an upstream fluid section and downstream solid section that is recycled to the, to the fluid section. If we have all in one model, we can optimize the entire process, gain deeper process understanding, see how the solid section influences the fluid section, and the other way around. I understand also you can move from uh, conceptual models to rigorous models within the system. So how would that work? Sure. So once we have set up the first draft of the model containing the conceptual models, you can change the model to an equipment model just by changing the model itself, and then you can make it more rigorous. So that sounds like some pretty amazing technology. What are the business benefits they might get from, from doing things in this way? There are several things that depends a little bit on the process. So for example, in drying, we see that we can save energy up to 30, 35 percent by reducing recycle flow rates, by reducing temperatures. We can increase throughput by, for example, for granulation, agglomeration processes by up to 15 percent. Same may be valid for classification and grinding processes. So you can improve your, your product quality, your throughput, and minimize your energy footprint. So it sounds really interesting. I'd like to urge you to explore our website, the solids modeling section of our website, which has jumpstart guides, recorded videos, uh, brief reported presentations, as well as some sample models you can download. And there's also computer-based training available that you can access through the software. So with that, I'd like to uh, Thank you for listening and urge you to, to learn more on our website.